Welcome back. Today we're going to investigate how to hide our rat using Trojan-like techniques. At this point, I assumed that you created your Quasar rat executable and you have configured everything correctly. Once you've built your client, you can go ahead to Google and download the application called MSI Wrapper. Once you have your MSI wrapper, you're going to go ahead and create a folder within program files. This folder can be anywhere. I just decided that I'm going to put it in program files. Now within my folder in program files, I have the rat executable that I created and I have a batch file that I created. In conjunction, these two will help me launch my rat without the user ever knowing. So take a look. These are the commands that I used. The first line in my batch file is start Chrome. The second file is to start root.exe, which is my rat, within this folder. Now keep in mind, both of these files need to be located within the same folder in order for it to work. The most important part of this batch file is this switch right here. That switch means to silently run this program. So once we have our batch file created and it's located in the same folder, we can make our way to MSI wrapper. Within setup executable input file name, you're going to navigate to the folder that you created. And my folder that I created is program files and I will click on my rat executable, which I named root.exe, and click open. Over here, we can configure our compression type. I like to click max to save on the total size of the MSI. Now, under MSI output file name, once the package has been created, this is where it'll be located using that naming scheme. Go ahead, click next. You can click on these drop downs and match the settings that I have. Once that's done, click next. Right here, we're going to copy Google Chrome's metadata and use it to make our MSI installer look a little bit more legit. Click select and then click create new. These pop ups are occurring because I already went through this step. Over here under register and add remove program, you're going to select hidden, you know, just to make it more difficult for someone to remove this application. You can go ahead on all these drop down menus, click registry, and it will propagate the metadata for Google Chrome and this MSI packager. You will click next. You can leave all that blank. Click next. Click next. Here is the most important part. Once that user clicks on the MSI installer, this command needs to be run. This is the batch file located within our folder. It doesn't matter what you name your batch file, just make sure that your batch file contains these commands. And these commands will run immediately after the target has clicked on the MSI installer. I'm going to go ahead, click next and build our package because it's a trial version. We're going to be hit with this watermark. Click yes. And our package has been created. Now I have my Quasar server running and currently there are no rats on my computer. But when I go ahead and click the package that I created, root.msi, take a look at what happens. Chrome is launched and the batch file initiates the installation of root.exe, which is the rat. And in less than five minutes, that is how we create a rat with Trojan-like properties.